All right, chapter eight, sharing the roads with others. Okay, we know about pedestrians. It's important for you to maintain awareness of how to operate your vehicle that shares the road with other people, include bicyclists, skaters, motorized scooters, and other non-motor vehicle. Sharing the road means being aware, recognizing that bike lanes exist, um, and that pedestrians and cyclists and exiting vehicle without end- endangering other people. Okay. Statistic. So old. New Jersey roadways. Okay. We did see a, redu- a reduction, but still people died. And uh, from, uh, it, I should say a reduction from 2015, but still 166 people died on the roadway. So common sense is going to be people, uh, areas that have uh, uh, denser populations are going to, you know, see more pedestrians. In most cases, you have the right away at the intersection, crosswalk at every intersection, even if it's not marked as such. Okay, an unmarked crosswalk. You need to, as a pedestrian, Obey signs and signals at crosswalk and intersections. This is known, um, if you fail to comply, it's a $54 fine, and it's known as jaywalking. If you are under the age of 17, the violation, the fine is $22. Know this, okay? You may see it on your exam. A motorist is prohibited from blocking a crosswalk when stopped at a red light or a stop sign, okay? So when you stop, that doesn't mean you can park in the middle of the crosswalk. Furthermore, no pedestrian shall leave the curb and run into the path of the vehicle that's so close for them to stop or yield to the pedestrian. A violation of this law may be fined um, up to $200 and two points on their record. The court may also um, give you community service. Okay. Never pass. We talked about this. Never pass. I want to say this chapter four. Never pass a vehicle that is stopped in a crosswalk. Okay? That means people are around, so you don't want to find out the hard way. Furthermore, always, always, always watch out for these pedestrians. Be careful at intersections, particularly when making a right turn on red. You have people um, that flow traffic. They have the right of way, so you might have cyclists. Um, coming um, on your right side. Motorists are required to stop for pedestrians who have the right of way within the crosswalk. Yield to those who are crossing the unmarked crosswalk at an intersection. Be alert. We're making turns, entering and exit driveways, parking lots, and alleys. Remember, we talked about those blind alley or the blind um, driveways and whatnot. That means that in these in this situation here, you can use your horn to help notify other people that you are operating a vehicle. Okay, so a motorist failure to detect and recognize motorcycles is the most common cause of motorcycle crashes. Okay, keep that in mind. Trucks, tractor trailers, and buses. Some of you have already said, I'm never driving with tractor trailers or buses. They're scary. Okay, when you are driving, you should be aware that these tractor trailers and buses have blind spot areas they're larger vehicles okay just a rule of thumb the larger the vehicle you know you always yield to vehicles that are bigger than you okay um these limitations regarding their visibility stopping distance and maneuverability become limited because they're pretty large when passing a large truck it's important to remember these no zones a fancy name for a blind spot okay on this page we are gonna show the different no zones okay um, right behind the tractor trailer, 200 feet on the right side in this panel on the left side here, they can't see you. Okay. So it's important to recognize that these no zones exist. Um, and even though the, uh, the, the tractor trailer, they, always, um, they have signs on the back of the trailer. It says always pass on the left, not on the right, because their area, um, of the no zone is greater on the right side, you can see right here that this vehicle is not really eligible to see, okay? 
and it also in front of the vehicle okay kind of like the school bus why those arms come out there is a blind spot in front of um these uh vehicles because they're so large and high up okay no that in bad weather, these larger vehicles take approximately 25% longer to stop. All right, so going to that no zone principle, kind of just reiterating what I had said, avoid those areas, okay? So the potential for a crash is increased when you are riding in the no zone, aka your blind spot. If the driver of a large vehicle or tractor trailer cannot see the other vehicle, they are in that blind spot okay so you can see right here um this tractor trailer is turning wide this guy said oh forget it i'm going to kind of speed up all right so as he's making his turn they're going to meet here and it's not going to be pretty okay there is the rear no zone okay um, you should always, when you're here, always see the mirrors from behind the vehicle. Okay. So if this is my tractor trailer, okay, here's my mirrors. If I'm driving right here, I should be far enough where I could see their mirrors, okay? If I can't see them, that means I'm in their um, rear no zone and that is not a good situation, okay? They don't know I'm there, okay? Front no zone, it's gonna be the spot um, in front of the truck where they can't see you. So when you pass them, um, maintain a good speed, okay? And do not pull in front of the truck when passing until you can see the whole truck in um, the rear view mirror. Again, never, never pass on the right. Side no zone, okay? When you pass a vehicle, don't uh, the truck, don't linger when passing, okay? Make the pass, don't hang out there, um, and, you know, continue on your way. Head on, no zone, okay? Um, so when you are driving, okay, um, these vehicles, uh, as a driver, you should bear to the right when large vehicles are coming um, from opposite direction because it helps reduce the wind turbulence. So any of you that ever have been in the car where a tractor trailer passes them, you know that the wind causes your car to shake pretty violently, Okay. Yielding to commercial buses, these are New Jersey Transit Bus, okay, Academy Buses, okay. State law requires all non-emergency vehicles to yield to the right-of-way of buses entering and uh, entering traffic after picking up or dropping off passengers, okay. Failure to do so, you're going to get fined and you can look at some jail time, okay. Um, this is really big um, in commuting areas, okay? Um, on Route 35, maybe you have buses that are constantly in and out of traffic. Um, I know where I live out in, uh, in Western Monmouth County in Freehold, we have a lot of this that happens on Route 9 where the buses are constantly in and out of the traffic flow, picking up uh, people going into Manhattan for work. Well, it used to be that way, I should say. Uh, bicycles, skateboardists, and inline skating. So when you are driving and you pass a pedestrian on one of these devices, they should be going in the same direction, maintaining that safe distance, um, okay, and kind of give them some space if possible, okay? Um, these people on these vehicles have the same rights and responsibilities as motor vehicles, it's important to know that, okay? You should never ride your bike head on. You should drive your, uh, you should ride your bicycle um, with the flow of traffic, okay? Um, the last thing that you need to know, um, trains, never race to cross over the train crash. Um, Never race a train. Uh, never race the train to cross over the train tracks at a railroad crossing. Okay, remember you're going to see a yellow circular railroad crossing sign. 
um, and a white X on the marking on the pavement that will indicate that it's a railroad crossing. Okay. Um, it says here trains take freight train traveling at 55 miles an hour take a mile or more to come to a complete stop. Okay. In case you did not know, they have the right of way. Um, if you get stuck on the railroad tracks, you want to run in a 45 degree angle opposite of the, um, if you stall on that, the railroad track. So you want to stop, run in the opposite direction of the train on a 45 degree angle away from it. Okay, and lastly, animals. Okay, some things that you need to know. You should try avoid hitting animals. Okay, um, sometimes it causes uh, you to swerve and may cause you to hit something or get into an accident. Okay, watch for them, anticipate the movements. Okay, again, sadly, we have to expect the unexpected, especially during, um, like, this, like right now, this time of year, the, the fall and then the spring, you tend to see a lot of deer on the roadway. Horseback riders, okay, so if you are in an area that you have horses, um, when you approach these horses or horseback riders, okay, you need to reduce your speed to 25 miles an hour or less and proceed with caution, okay? You don't want to spook the horse because that may not be a good thing. So keep that in mind. Um, you may see this, you know, as you progress um, out in Pennsylvania and Lancaster, you'll see a lot of the Amish on horse and buggies. Um, and you just, just be wary of them. Um, you know, you don't want to spook them. So just approach them cautiously. All right. So that's chapter eight. Questions, comments, concerns, you know where to find me.